You think your boyfriend's having sex with his sister. It's crazy, but it's true. We have the same mom, the same dad. We gonna be close. Did you ever sleep with your brother? No! This is my baby sister, man. I would never ever look at this woman like that. She walking around the house in the popsicle butt neck. Paul, look at her private area. That's crazy, because she really believe that. What, she just went crazy or something? Here it is. This is what you want. America! The lie detector determined you were. <laughs> this is bad. When I think I hear it all, then this story comes along, right? Every day my husband checks me and he makes me bend over and touch my toes and he inspects me. She says you break glass and you put it around the bed. I'm right, like, I've installed apps on my phone, I've looked for cheater kits. She's a liar. I never cheated on, never done anything to you. We have three boys and he denies every single one of them. They don't even look like me. Can you stand up please? And what? You're going to stand on my stage, that's why. Paul's girlfriend, Chanisa, thinks he's having sex with his own sister. But Paul denies her suspicions and says she's the one who has something to prove. You see, he thinks her one-year-old son might belong to another man. Take a look. My son's mother, Chanisha, is accusing me of having sexual relations with my sister. When we don't answer the door in a timely manner, she feels as though something is going on. And because my sister walks around the house naked, she feels as though we're having sex. Why would I want to do something like that with my sister? I mean, that's nasty. I would never do something like that. My relationship with Chanisha has grown to a point to where I really don't want to have any more dealings with her after this. We're going to have relations because of my son, if he is my son. I have my doubts because when I was gone away from a while, she was prostituting for money or engaging in sexual activities. And when I look at the child, it's rarely any resemblance of me. And when she gets upset, she tells me that he's not mine. What I want to happen today is that I want to prove to Chinesha that something is really wrong with her by thinking that I'm having sexual relations with my sister and also find out whether the baby is mine or not. Chanisa, you think that your boyfriend Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is and I know sleeping. it's true. I Let me finish. Let me finish. I, People I at home don't know what I'm about to say. Um, you think your boyfriend's having sex with his sister? Yes. That's, that's kind of crazy, right? No, it's crazy, but it's true. And why do you think he's sleeping with her? Reason number one is they just bought an apartment in February and March. I go over there unannounced and I rings and knock on the doorbell for like a good 20 minutes. She say, who is it? And I say my name. And she say, um, You said Chanisha. Yeah, I say Chanisha. She say, well, Paul ain't here. And so she comes to the door butt naked. No bra, no panties on, nothing. She butt ass naked. She said, you can't come in because I have company. Now, I'm knowing my baby's father in the house because his car parked outside. So I go around to the back and I start his car. She come running out the house, buttoning up her shirt, telling me, you got, you better get up out the car, you better get the car off and great call the police on you. Paul ain't here, I don't know where he at. And I said, okay, go on, call the police, but I ain't going nowhere. So I put the car in reverse. As I'm putting the car in reverse, Paul comes running outside with his socks on, buttoning up his shirt. So I say, so you picked it on your little girl that Paul wasn't in the house. She said, no. So I hit her and we start fighting. So the second reason, me and Paul went to the house and I was sitting in the kitchen. Paul and, and um, Jonique, that was in the living room, Jonique was laying on the couch with her legs gapped open. Paul comes in front of her, grabbing on himself, talking to her. I'm seeing him watching them interact with each other. So. As another family member walked through the door, Paul hurry up and sit on the couch, and she hurry up and crosses her legs. Okay, that happened. The third reason is, Steve, now this the good poet. <laughs> the third reason is. First two were pretty good too. The third reason is, me, Paul, and my son, we was in a room. 
Jonique go in her room, take off all her clothes, everything, no bra, no panties, she butt naked. She go to the bathroom, run her some bath water. She go to the kitchen, grab her an ice cream bar. She walking around the house. Our door that we in is open. All the lights are on in the apartment. The door is open, the room that me and Paul in. So she walking around the house like we ain't there. She walking around the house in the popsicle butt naked. <laughs> Finally, she comes by the doorway. She's standing by the doorway, standing up, butt naked. She ain't got nothing on like this for a good five minutes. Just texting on her phone. Just texting on her phone. Look. And so I'm looking at Paul. Look at her. Inter they interacting with each other. Paul looked at her private area. He stared at her private area for like a good minute. And when I guess when she seen that, you know, but it's I, I want some now, you know, it's time for her to go. She politely just turned around and just and just walks away. We have the same mom, the same dad. We gonna be close. Did you ever sleep with your brother? No. This is what you want. America. The lie detector determined you was. Miss. <laughs> this is bad. We have the same mom, the same dad. We're going to be close. Did you ever sleep with your brother? No. You ever catch a man with sex? No, I haven't never catch them having sex, but in so many ways, I seen all the signs and all them interacting with each other. She want her brother want to have a baby by him. She wants to have a baby by him. Yep. Um, you love your boyfriend? I love him dearly, but we just can't get it together. Ever since I got pregnant and been with his people, it's like they just got some type of grudge against me. Since you had a baby. Yeah. Um, he says that he thinks that you're uh, a sex worker prostitute? No, I'm not no sex worker prostitute. Those just rumors he been here. Have he you probably ever, heard it from his sister, most likely. Have you ever had um, sex with anybody for money? No, I haven't. <laughs> you sure? I'm sure, I'm positive. Jewelry? No jewelry, no food, money, no food. Car? Car, no Marvel. house, nothing. Okay. Um, what about, he says, now Paul has, wondering if the kid's even his though. He says my, it, the, the child doesn't look like him. He thinks that you were screwing around or having sex for money. That he thinks that because every time I get upset with him, I'll say, well, the baby's not yours anyway. Well, there you go. Now we know why. The baby sure. don't look like you. Um, so wh you're here today to, to what? To find out if he's sleeping with to his sister? To find out the truth. Is he sleeping with his sister or not? Um, I mean, if it's true, it's let's all bring out Jody. Break loose. Sean, I can't hear you. You can't hear what that stupid ass is. I don't know how to act like that. Tell it yourself. When it's time for you to take out clothes, I'll come to the guy and leave. You act like you want to be with him. Roll him for your dad. I want my brother for a job. If I pay the bill, I'm going to pay the bill. I'm going to pay the bill. You all up on national TV with this. And I'm going to pay the bill. Now you in bed. I'm going to take this all up. It's gonna be true. How you doing, Johnny? I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. Why, why are you pissed? She, cause she on national TV with this. We not had a fight about this and everything, Steve. And she still cannot get it through her mind. And you hear you're coming out because you're being accused of sleeping Sleep, with your brother. Sleeping with my brother, Steve. And oh, she didn't tell you the fuck reason. She said me and my brother are too close. That's another reason why she think we sleeping together. My brother is 24. I'm 23. We have the same mom, the same dad. We grew up in the same house together. That's how it usually so works. So we, we, we gonna be close. Right. Yeah. And she talking about I, I'm ass naked. When I'm at home, I don't be ass naked. I have on a t-shirt with nothing you, on my You know you be ass naked in front of the company. I don't have nothing up. I know when company time to leave, that's when everybody yeah, yeah, got yeah, yeah, you get yeah. Bitch, Stop I get that. I swear to God when the test come back. Okay. So, so Nick, you gonna be on this weird. Did you ever sleep with your brother? No. Never had, and you talking about having inter intercourse with him. No, we never, no, I never had intercourse with him. And she, you laughing at her because you already know something ain't wrapped too tight. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because that, that's crazy because she really believed that. No, but it's kind of a funny story. 
Did you come home and eat in an ice cream butt naked and stand by the no, door? No, see what happened was I went to the bathroom. I was using the bathroom and her pa was already now. And I came, it was at two o'clock in the morning. I had to came from the boat, lost all my damn money. You went to and where? I went to the boat. I oh, had just came home and I had lost all my damn money. What'd you play? And so oh, I played blackjack and roulette. And um, <laughs> so I went in the bathroom, uh, took me took my bottom, I still had my shirt on or whatever. I went in the bathroom, so I finally got butt no naked more. in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. And I walked out the bathroom butt I naked. That one day I was actually butt naked with nothing on because I thought they had shut the door. But come to find out, I walked out the bathroom and the door still open. And I was butt naked. And I thought I walked in my room, got my towel and my razor, and I walked in the bathroom and I was butt naked. Do you think uh, Paul's baby? No. You don't think it's Paul's no, baby? No, I don't think that baby is. Because my, nep my two nephews and my baby, you can tell that they cousin. He looked just like his mama. You can do? we just have the results so we Please. can prove to her? Well, Please. we got to talk to Paul first. Can we talk to Paul first? Yeah, come bring him out. Let's bring out Paul. Please, come on, Paul. Let me take your shoes off. Yeah, this is what you want. America. The lie detector determined you was. Me oh! <laughs> this is bad. We have three boys, and he denies every single one of them. They don't even look like me. Can you stand up, please? Anyway, anyway you're going to stand on my stage. That's why. You want. America. The lie detector determined you were. You can we just have the results so we Please. can prove to her? Well, Please. we gotta talk to Paul first. Can we talk to Paul first? Yeah, come bring him out. Let's bring out Paul. Please, come on, Paul. Let me take your shoes off. She up in the house. Say, say, cause she you really need to trip. I ain't quit. Here. You hear him? You got us on national TV. So and you said, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't me, walk up on me, dog. You ain't tell me the other day that you and your sister were So you ain't tell me that. That's you because you, you like say dumb things after time, when you get mad. Of course I'm going to say things like that when you say, you oh, you I'm going to have sex with sick. your friend. This is my baby sister, man. We grew up together. Slept in the bed together. Since we were little, I would never, ever look at this woman like that. You see. All right, we're going to see. Is she a prostitute? Here's the thing, Steve. I don't know. I've heard accusations about prostitution. I've seen her texting. Hold on. I've seen her texting guys while I'm in the bed. Just came home from work, working long hours, scuffling, hustling, and busting so we can live a decent lifestyle when we were staying together. This is where it takes the cake, and, and I, I really don't understand this. Throughout the accusation that she's putting on me about having sex with my sister, I still try to. China, babe, I love you. I want you to live a decent lifestyle. God wants you to be happy. I want you to be happy. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I still do for that baby. Been there since the day she told me she found out she was pregnant, didn't miss a doctor's appointment. Anytime that baby needed something to eat, I ran like Sonny. Have you ever played a game, son? That's how I ran, make sure he had food. This clothes. boy left me his baby did not... walking, walking then... at 2 o'clock in the morning. The, who who chose to walk? walk. Who chose to take our walk? walk. You. Walking. Okay. He put my stuff okay. I didn't put you outside. Walking. You put yourself baby. outside. You're grown. You me make your own decisions. Baby. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe, and can we get the little boy up on the screen again? Um, do now, you, do you believe the little boy is yours? The reason I started having doubts about the baby because of her actions. You feel me? Yeah. The way she's totally acted, and, and I really don't have but time to just explain it all. It makes me feel you. like the baby's not mine. I mean, like she don't have any respect for herself. I mean, it's a lot of That's stuff. That's what your and sister then look at like that baby. she ain't got no respect for herself. And then look at that baby. butt naked in front of you and other family members. Okay. That's my her, eyes. Look at her eyes and look at that baby's eyes. I won't okay. be naked, guess what? I'm going to be naked in you know 105 I'm and I don't give a who don't like it. That's mine. But the Joe, thing is about... Don't on the lease for that one, baby. She's here today because she wants to know if you two are sleeping together. You're here because Ooh, you want to prove really? Ooh, that you're not sleeping with your brother. And I'm yeah. here to yeah. prove yeah. that I'm, I'm not having sex to my sister and find out if that baby is mine so or not. Let's find out. Do you want the little boy to be yours? Right. You do? Right. Okay. 
Yes? Yes, I okay. want him to be okay. mine because, I mean, well, guess what? throughout That's this time, nice. I have grown a test and I've actually visualized. Now we got that yeah. out the way. Now we got that cleared up. That ain't. Be home in a minute, buddy. <laughs> I ain't love you. That doesn't clear up anything for you. I ain't ready about that. This is the ones we're really concerned. Here it is. 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 Come on, give her, what, give her what she looking for. Okay. Give her what she looking for. We, Paul came here. I wish I could moonwalk right now. Have you, we asked Paul, have you ever had sexual contact with your sister, Jonique? He said no. He said no. And the detective said. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with your sister, Jonique? He answered no. The results came back the same for both questions. And they came back that Paul My husband has literally nailed the door and the window shut to keep me in the house. She says you break glass and you put it around the back. Right, I've installed apps on my phone, I've looked for cheater kids. She's a liar. I never cheated or never did anything to you. Can you stand up, please? Anyway, and what? You're gonna stand on my stage, that's why. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with your sister, Jonique? He answered no. The results came back the same for both questions, and they came back that Paul did not tell the truth. No, no. Uh -oh. I know he's lying. He told the truth. I know he's lying. Oh, hey, look. I know he's lying. Hey, hey, hey. hey. My dick, my dick. Now, you apologize. Thank you. He didn't read it right. He, oh, he, he didn't read it right. He was reading the truth. Matter of fact, Steve, read. I want you, I really want you to read I it slower. Yeah. Matter of fact, give her the paper. Oh, oh, oh no. okay. Give, give her the paper. Results for Paul. That is my name. Have you ever? Let me see the paper. Ever mean in life? Okay, you understand the word ever. <laughs> okay. So I, 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 no, this is real life. I'm, this is this is real life. I'm in in. in, in <laughs> What, she just went crazy or something? <laughs> this is real life. And I want to read this in front of her because this go, is bad. Now, look at you. Go read it to her. Now, hold up. Go back there and read it to her. Read it to her. I want her to read it to herself, okay? Calm down first. Oh, I'm happy y'all move. Okay, she's oh, happy. I'm about to know, but I don't. Okay. I swear to God, I feel Now, good. listen, okay. You sure feel Hold up, don't hold up, hold up, no. You don't want to feel my you know. I no, nah, no, we not. We ain't even gonna go. No. Now I'm happy how the results came out, and you should too. I want you to <laughs> read it. Have you ever, <laughs> that me in life, had sexual contact with your sister, <laughs> Jonique? That is her name, okay? Her legal law name, Jonique. So we have ever, sister, and Jonique. The answer was no. The results said, read it to me. Tell the truth. Okay. Have you ever, Again, ever. You with me? You, you might get a part-time job out of this. Had sexual intercourse. That means a man's and private a area. <laughs> she gets it. She okay. gets it. Okay. I want to get I want to make sure. She gets it. Because this I, this is real life, Steve. She you had, had, she know what I went through. I'm, I'm up to my really, Steve. I really love this woman. I, I went through well, trauma, right. stress. And you said she needs to grow. And you you, you hit it Come on. Let's head. go back on stage. Come yeah, on. Let's, let's go. go back out here. Look, this guy's gonna get his own show. You cool? Because I forgot, Odyssey. I forgot about, <clears throat> Shanisa took a lie detector test. Right. <laughs> oh, she did, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. we I know you passed. <laughs> we know that the baby's yours, but we don't know about all the allegations against Shanisa. Oh, <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Oh, Lord.
Oh, Chanisa, you lied to me. Chanisa, you came here and you confessed to having intercourse for money in August 2013, one time only. One time. But you didn't, though. You tell me, oh, I did. Oh, I did. After all, I did. I told you about you that. Ain't I did tell you. You ain't tell me I nothing. I did tell you, You Paul. ain't tell yes, me I nothing. Man, stop lying. Okay. Besides one time, have you ever had sex in exchange for something of value at any other time? She said no. She told the truth. I told you. Number money. <laughs> for real. Is it true that you only exchanged a sex act for something of value one time. You said yes, and you told the truth. So. <laughs> obviously, passions run very high with right. each other. Mm -hmm. So obviously there is uh, a lot of emotion, a lot of love there, because you both wouldn't go crazy if you didn't really care about each other. Right. Um, but obviously there's strains in the relationship with the accusations, going both ways, uh, the uncertainty in your mind, whether the right. child was yours, a lot of this is cleared up. Is there any chance that, for, and, and I'm saying, this isn't, you're just dating or whatever, mm -hmm. you got a son, right? you know, you got a, a boy. Is there any chance to try to make your relationship work to stay as a family unit? Yeah, we could try. We can could try. You, are you gonna try? I'm gonna try. Okay, if you're really gonna try. <laughs> and, I would, I would love for you guys to stay in touch with us and find out what happens. Right. But if you're really going to try, take her hand and walk off the stage. We have three boys, and he denies every single one of them. They don't even look like me. Can you stand up, please? Hey, and what? You're going to stand on my stage, that's why. Carrie says her husband, Andrew, has been accusing her of cheating for six years. Whoa. He believes that their kids were fathered by other men and he strips her down multiple times a day to look for signs of cheating. Whoa. She swears that she's always been faithful, but Andrew says he knows she's hiding something. Take a look. He says only women cry. You're our big crybabies. You know, I don't trust women. Women should just basically die. My life is a living hell. Every day my husband checks me. He can't leave the house for five minutes without coming back. Then we have to go to the bathroom and he makes me bend over and touch my toes and he looks at me, inspects me. My husband has literally nailed the door and the window shut to keep me in the house and to make sure that nobody would come in and nobody would go out. So if there was a fire or anything like that, I would have been killed. I can't even have a job without him thinking that I'm screwing an employer or an, a fellow co-worker. He's always trying to catch me. He busts light bulbs around the bed to see if I would get up in the middle of the night. He would look and see if there was blood on each little piece. And it's not right for me to have to go through any of this. We have three boys and they're very beautiful. He denies every single one of them. And it sucks because I have to deal with all of that by myself. Every time the kids are sick, I have to deal with it. Anytime they are running fever, I'm the one giving them a bath. And he runs off and does whatever he wants to do. And I'm stuck at home with our kids while he goes off and drinks or you know goes off and rides around with whoever he wants. And I'm stuck with all that, all the hurt, all the pain, everything. But I try to keep a face brave, that way he doesn't see that I'm hurting, because he'll just use it. I want to prove him wrong, that way he can change for the better, be a better husband, be a better father, 
you know, just become a better family as a whole and not as two separate people. Wow, right? Wow. wow. Um, you know, I do this. Uh, no, nah, you know what? He, he's, he's not hitting her. He's not being, uh, well, being mentally abusive, certainly. When I think I hear it all, then this story comes along, right? Right. She says you break glass and you put it around the bed. I did that one time. One time? Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. See, when I hear that, I think of so many levels why that's wrong. Hey, she was, she's a liar. You know, she's a liar. So what why do you lay down with her? Uh, you know. I didn't know that she was a liar when I first got with her. But you get to the point where you think she's such a liar, you take broken glass and you spread it around. No, the it wasn't like that. It was like one night I was, you know, I'm sitting there laying in bed and she gets up. You know, I, I kind of wake up and I see her crawling in and kicking her shoes off and then, you know, I let that go and I bring it up, you know, the next day and then the next night it's the same thing. And I told her I, I, I had light bulb, I just threw it on the ground, crushed it. That night I said, you know, if, if you're going to sneak out, sneak out. <laughs> you know? And you thought a good idea. Well, I, you know, well, I didn't know what else to do, you know? Do you sometimes think, wow, well, I'm a psycho? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but that's what a line. A lying somebody, you know, somebody that's going to lie to you, that's what it'll do to you. I mean, it eats you. Even if what you're saying is 100% true, which it might be, I why know. do you keep getting her pregnant? The two little ones, you know, they don't even, they don't even look like me. When, you, when I seen them come out... Oh, so that's right. They, you think they're not even yours. Not, the, not my youngest two. No. Why, do you, why do you stay with a woman that you think is having kids with somebody else? I can't come up with an answer for you. I'm stuck here. Well, how about... I'm going to go on with my life and be happy with somebody else. And, that's my, and that might be what it takes. That might be what it takes, Steve. How long have you been with her? Six years. Six years. And when in that six years did you think she was cheating on you? It was like the first six months. Do you love your wife? Yes, sir. You do? Yes, sir. You, and you respect her? No. See, to me, I can't love someone if I don't respect her. Well, I... I respect her as a mother because she is a good mother. My wife wants to know if you're a good dad. And, and, and I, I know my answer before you even tell me. I am a good dad. No, can't yeah. be. No, and I say that because you're not going to tell me that all this goes on in your house. And not around kids, kids not around But it doesn't money. matter. Right. Kids can sense tension between parents, well, I don't which there has to be a lot of tension between I don't raise her. my voice around my No, children. you make her bend over and touch her feet, and you check her In a bathroom away from everybody. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm not the only one that does it, man. Look online. I didn't know what else to do. I tried to find somebody to talk to about how I could find the signs and stuff, you know? And so you researched on how to catch your wife cheating on Right. Them. I've installed apps on my phone. I've looked for... Cheater kits, even the cheater kit said it would find What if she passes his lie detector test for not cheating? Well, I'm, I'm probably bye-bye, you know? Why, because she's going to break up with you? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it either. What if you fail your lie detector exam? I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I kind of do. Um, <laughs> what if these two, did we test all three kids or just the two? All three. All three. What if some of them aren't yours? I'm gone. You're gone. All right, let's bring out your wife, Carrie. You never cheated on, never done anything. You're a liar. Never been with you. You're a liar. You're a liar. You know you're a liar. I'm not a liar. What about the condoms? What condoms? In the yard. You're, you're a liar. Under the you're dirt. a liar, and they are going to know I it tonight. I am not a liar. Whatever. I've done Whatever. everything for Whatever. you. Whatever. I worked Whatever. six jobs while you couldn't do I went out there and I hustled and yeah, I got diapers oh, yeah, and everything yeah, I could for them yeah, kids. And I, I did worked everything. Too. Whatever. Uh, Carrie, why don't you come over here and have a seat with me? You know, I can't even imagine. And you've been married how long? Six years. Well, six, five years. But okay. We've been together for six. Okay, you've been married five years. Why are you guys married? Honestly, I think it's because of the kids. Why do you keep having kids? I honestly don't know. Because you don't know how to use condoms. Why don't you go off stage just for a minute? I want to talk to your wife.
Can you stand up, please? Hey, boy. And what? You're going to stand on my stage. That's why. As far as the DNA test for your one-year-old. You are the fuck. You're off my stage. As far as the DNA test for your one-year-old. You know what would be really frightening to me? If my daughter someday was older and was with a guy like that, I'd be like, why is my daughter with this guy? That's what my dad says. That's what your dad says, right? Mm -hmm. And what do you say to your dad? Because I love him. What do you love? The way he used to be. The way he used to be. How long ago was that that he used to be? When we first got together. Six years ago. Yep. So how have been the last five and a half years? Pure hell. Pure hell. And so you're 24 now. How much more of your life are you going to waste? None after this. None after this. Because you say you don't cheat. I don't. You I don't. don't. But he, how often does he accuse you? Every day. Making you touch your toes? Every day. Every time he leaves the house. But why do you do it? Why do you, why do you listen to him and bend, bend over? Because he's my husband. But so what? what he tells me to do. He what? Do what he tells me to do. He, uh, does he do what you tell him to do? No. No. Aren't women equal to men? Yes. Okay, well, the only way you're going to be equal is if you demand to be equal. <laughs> any chance that any of your kids aren't his? There's no chance. All of them oh, are his. That's too bad. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Man, maybe it'll help to break you guys apart. Well, I used, I used to sit there and think, you know, it was going to be different. We would sit on the porch at night, you know, drink a coffee or something, watch the sun go down, watch our kids play. And that's a nice moment. And yeah, that's, that's what I want. How often do you get that? Never. Never. And, that, and, and you know how sad that is? You want to sit on your front porch with a cup of coffee, watch your children play, and that would make you extremely happy. Yes, that would. And you don't get that. I don't. Okay. Um, do you think he cheats on you? No. I'm guessing he does. If he does, it'll show. And if he does? I'll leave. You will leave. I will leave. Um, how does he act with the, the two youngest children? He treats them different. The oldest because he doesn't believe they're his. Yeah, he doesn't believe they're his. He doesn't have that certain attachment that a father should have with their kids. He doesn't want to hold them all the time. He doesn't want anything to do with them, really. So I have to sit there, and I have to deal with all that by myself, and it is hard. It is hard as a mother to know that your husband is not there for you when you need him the most. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just so sad because if nobody's doing anything, why wouldn't you have a good marriage? Let's, let's, uh, I want to come, but his name's Andrew. Let's bring uh, Andrew out. You're making all that. Making what up? What am I making up? I don't check you multiple no. times a day. Yes, you You're do. a liar. Anytime you You're leave a liar. the house. Liar. Anytime liar. you leave the house. Can you stand up, please? Well, it's my stage. Right. I can do whatever I want. Right. 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 Yeah. But you're not going to sit. Right. I'll yeah. stay here right here with you. <laughs> and if he acts like this here, ooh, I can imagine how tough he gets at home. Whatever. You're done. You're, you're done? Yeah. Then just walk off stage. You don't need to know the truth. Just, it's over. Walk out and go live your life. If you're, if you're that content. I want to know the truth. No, 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 no. He said he's done. If he's done, he doesn't need this. I do need that. Oh, no, you do need it. Yeah, I got three kids. I, I want to know which ones are mine. Thing. You want to know which ones are mine? <laughs> yeah. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a show with my kids. I'll find out if they're mine. 
I probably not. See, I don't treat my wife like you. You probably never see her. Probably She's standing busy. right there. <laughs> I see her when I wake up. I see her when I go to work. I see her when I go to bed. In my house, the light bulb stays screwed in. It's because she don't lie to you, Steve. She doesn't, and I don't act like a psycho. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as far as the DNA test concerning your two-year-old, which this one you don't have concerns about, right? The two-year-old. You are the father. Okay, uh, this is for your one-year-old. Okay, uh, this is for your one-year-old. Oh my God, you are the father of the one-year-old. <laughs> the one-month-old. You're not going to believe this. You are the father of the one-month-old. All right, but this, this is like pure gold. Read this it. is your lie detector test. Please read it. This is what he's been living for for the past five and a half years. Please read it. Please, the love of God, read it. While being married to Andrew, have you ever had sexual, physical contact with any other man? And you said? No. While being married to Andrew, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? No. Have you ever cheated on Andrew with a co-worker? No. You answer no. Have you ever cheated on Andrew with a family member? No. No. The results came back all the same. She told the truth all the time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hell for five and a half years. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Aren't you, aren't you being a little too huggy on him right now? No, I mean, if that's the way you feel, that's the way you feel. He's your husband. Let's see if he's been as good to you as you've been good to him. Your husband took a lie detector test, and we asked him, while being married to Carrie, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? He said no. He did not tell the truth. While being married to Carrie, have you had sexual intercourse with the other woman? He said no, and he told the truth. Do you think coming here today, that is going to change your marriage? I better, I'm gone. Yeah, I think it'll change it. Because, in truth, all it is is a piece of paper, okay? Piece of paper, piece of paper cannot make him respect you. A piece of paper cannot make him sit on your front porch and drink coffee with you and watch your kids play. We do things like that. We a go out to the paper. park. We do all kinds of things together as a family. Not according to her. Well, she's a liar. She failed her test. She's the Okay, so she can tell the truth about, you know, a couple of You just of issues. called your wife a liar. She does lie. I've caught her in lies. The best and smartest advice I could give you is to get up, take your shoes off, and run as fast as you can. <laughs> Yeah. 
but uh, you can get off my stage. So I want to know, you're going to run for the hills or are you going back with your husband? Running for the hills, you go out that door. Going back to him, you go out that door. And you don't have to say anything. Just let us know what you're going to do.